Hey everyone, this is Heather from, from the Potomac Bead Company. Today I'm going to show you how to make these simple earrings. Um, I think they're really cute and they're really easy to, to make. You need some basic understanding of wire wrapping. Um, and we do have some YouTube videos on that that will explain in a little bit more detail, but I will be going over that in this video as well. Um, so what you'll need for this project is a couple of um, pewter rings or whatever. It doesn't have to be pewter, but I did use rings for this, break, for this earring. I also used some crystals or beads. You can use any type of beads that you want. The size of rings that I have here are actually um, a 21 millimeter ring earring and the earring that we're going to do today is a different variation. It's very similar but I'm using a wider or a, a larger one. So just depending on the size of your ring um, you'll determine what kind of um, what size you want for your crystals or your beads or whatever you want to do for in between. So you will need um, either, you know, four beads or crystals or whatever you decide to put, embellish. And then you'll need some wire. I used for the wire that I used, um, I wrapped here was actually a 20 gauge. Um, I kind of, um, I wanted something a little bit heavy duty. 22 gauge is fine to use, but 20, 24 gauge might be a little too thin. It won't, it won't hold out as long for you. You'll also need a couple, a pair of ear wires to go with the project. And you'll need a head pin. You'll need two head pins, one for each earring, um, and that'll be for the bottom bead here. You'll need round nose pliers or flat nose pliers um, and some wire cutters to help get you started. So like I said, this is the earring that um, we're going to be basing our project off um, and I'm going to show you the earring that we will be making. Um, again, it's a little bit larger um, and I just wanted to kind of do a different variation so everybody could see pretty much the same idea that I'm going to be applying here. It's just a little bit larger and I wanted, I wanted everybody to see the variation. So with this, uh, with this ring that I have, this is actually a 30 millimeter ring. So 21 millimeter and a 30 millimeter ring. So I actually had a lot of room to, um, play with. Um, and I didn't know what kind of bead and I figured I just took one of my daughter's heart, um, pendants and I figured, okay, this will look really good. Um, and then I used a six millimeter crystal for the top bead. But again, I, I did use a two inch, um, a two inch, uh, head pin for the, for the heart. As you can tell, here's the head pin. It's two inches um, and it's base metal. So this is really tough um, as far as getting it to wrap. So be careful what you pick. Make sure you don't pick a head pin that's too, too thin because um, sometimes they'll just kind of like fall right through the bead. It won't hold your bead. So just make sure you're picking the right head pin. Um, and like I said, 20 gauge wire here. And then I have a pair of ear wires that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to put my earrings aside and then we're going to get started. This is really simple. So it's going to go, I'll go slow um, so that um, you'll understand the concept of wire wrapping. Um, and also, by the way, you will be cutting about this. I think this is about a four inch piece of wire. So go ahead and cut two inches, one for each bracelet, one for each earring. So the first thing that we're going to do is take the middle portion of your earring, whichever, whatever kind of bead you're using, like I said, I'm going to do <clears throat> the heart. And if you want to stick with something smaller and dainty like this, um, for a six millimeter or whatever bead, that's fine too. So I'm taking my heart and then I'm going to take one of my head pins and I'm just going to slide it right in so that the heart lays nicely on top of my head pin. At this point, I'm going to use my uh, round nose plier. I'm a, I am like my round nose pliers. I don't know why. I guess it's because I get a better um, circle for my loops, I guess. So close to the ed edge of my, my pliers, I'm going to keep my... Um, I'm going to keep my head pin right there. And at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bend my head pin away from me at a 90 degree angle. If you can see that, it's away from me at a 90 degree angle. And what I'm going to do is move my pliers and I'm going to place that right on the crease of, of the head pin um, at that 90 degree angle crease. And then I'm going to bring 
I'm not really good at doing this slow. And then I'm gonna bring my wire up and over that front plier. So I'm gonna bring that up and over, and then at this point what I'm gonna do is move my, my pliers so that they're sitting right, the top plier, the, the top plier is actually on top of, um, of the wire of the head pin. So if you can see that okay, it's just kind of closing in on, on the wires right there. <clears throat> and then at that point, what I'm gonna do is move that bottom um, wire. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna move it back to create a loop underneath that bottom plier. And so as you can see, I've created a loop. And holding, holding um, that wire or that loop with my um, round nose plier, at this point what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to wrap the remaining, using the remaining wire of that head pin, I'm going to wrap the body of my head pin. And this is gonna take you a couple of tries, so don't get frustrated if you don't do if you're, if it's not a perfect loop. Mine's not perfect because I move, I can't, I move very fast and I get a, I get a better wire, um, looped wire. And then you're just gonna take your wire cutters and you're gonna cut the excess wire. At this point, what I'm gonna do is just kind of round it out a little bit using my uh, flat nose pliers. I'm gonna round out that cut, um, the cut piece so it's not gonna stab into me when I'm wearing my earring. And so there I have made a wire wrap loop. Now I'm ready to um, complete the middle portion um, and add my rings. So I'm going to take my wire that I've cut um, and at this point what I'm going to do about midway down or three quarters of the way down, I'm going to take my round nose pliers to the uh, fattest part of my pliers because I want a really wide loop. And what I'm going to do is the same thing that I did at the beginning of, of, my, of my little ear, um, my wire wrap loop here. I'm going to take my, the top half of my wire and I'm going to bend it away from me, like so, just bending it away from me at a 90 degree angle, move my pliers to that crease, and then bring the wire that's furthest away from me, bring it up and around that front plier. And around so that it touches the bottom, um, the bottom, the longest part of your wire. I'm gonna remove my wire, my pliers, and then set them on top, set the, the top pliers on top of the wire. And I'm going to take the front wire, the shortest piece of my wire, and move it back 90 degrees in front of um, the long wire so that what it looks like is a nice circle. And that's what it looks like. At this point, what I wanna do is kinda of just gently open it up, just like that, so that you have a little opening. And I'm gonna take my ring, I'm just gonna slide that in there. And then I'm gonna take my wire wrap loop um, pendant or bead, and I'm gonna also slide that in there. At this point, this is where it gets a little tricky. I'm gonna hold that entire that entire loop that I just made. I'm gonna press down, press down so that it's now closed. And I'm going to take the remaining portion of my wire and I'm gonna wrap it around the body of the rest of that piece of wire that I have. And you can wrap like, two to three times, it doesn't really matter how many times you wrap, as long as it's nice. And then you're gonna take your cutters, your wire cutters, and you're just gonna cut off the excess portion. All right, so you're almost done with your project, believe it or not. At this point, I'm gonna take my six millimeter bead, six millimeter crystal for me, and I just slid it right on. That's all I did. And we're gonna create another uh, loop is what we're gonna do. Instead of using the fat portion of my pliers, I'm actually gonna use the small portion, the small portion of the teeth, just like what I did down below. So I'm gonna take that and move it up just a little bit so I have some room to wrap. I don't want it right up against my, wire, uh, my bead. I like a little bit of a space. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna take my wire, move it 
away from me at a 90 degree angle, take my pliers and um, set them nicely in that crease, then take my back wire, um, bring it up and over the front pliers so that it's touching my project. At this point, I'm going to let go of the project with my pliers, take my teeth, the teeth of my project, teeth of my pliers so that the top plier is on top of the top um, uh, wire. And then I'm going to move my wire back in front and back of the project so that it's created a closed loop. You can, keep, you can actually trim off that wire now if you want a closed loop. I like my wires wrapped. So at this point, I'm going to take that wire and I'm just gonna wrap using the existing wire. I'm going to wrap it around the body. And then I'm going to take my wire cutters and cut. And take my flat nose pliers and kind of just flatten out that wire so that it's not going to stink, stick me or anything like that. So there's that. I finished my earring. Now what I need to do is attach it to my ear wire. Most ear wires act kind of like a jump ring. So what I did with this one, I'm just gonna show you real quick if you can see. Um, you can see that the ear wire is kind of open right there at the base. So instead of taking my flat nose pliers and pulling it to the side, I don't want to do that because then it will break eventually. So what I want to do is treat it like a jump ring and I just actually want to take my pliers and I want to move it toward, I want to push it up towards me. At that point, just ever so slightly so that there's a small little opening if you could see. At that point, I'm just going to slide my entire project right in there. And then I'm gonna take my pliers and I'm gonna close it by pushing it right back where it was. And that's it. You have completed a pair of your earrings. So now I have a pair and these are a little bit larger, but this, these will be perfect for, you know, if you're a large earring kind of person or if you're a small earring kind of person. I wanted to really make, um, a different set so that everybody, so you guys could see the variation here. Um, but the process is still the same and it's nothing, it's all just wire working and making loops. So I hope you've enjoyed this project. I hope you can, you were able to see the pictures clearly um, and my instructions were clear. So if you have any comments you'd like to leave or any questions, please feel free to leave um, in the comment space below. Um, and if you live locally, um, come check us out at some of our stores. We, we would love to teach you and go over hands-on. Um, it's a lot of fun to do with other people as well. So, And we also have other YouTube videos, so check them out. And if you'd like to order any of our projects, like I said, um, our rings come in sets of four usually. So you could make two pairs. Um, we do offer online ordering and it's potomacbead.com. And thanks again a lot for watching.